do have a couple of West Coast players as well. Griffin Fizzler, one of those New Jersey natives, he will start off the match. And talking about Griffin Fizzler, one of the seniors, talking with head coach Danny Cong Goncalves, kind of similar to UC Santa Barbara in terms of roster, 50% returns and 50% newcomers for NJIT. Similar to the Gauchos bringing in some new blood, but still a good core of returners for the Highlanders. And Griffin Fizzler just waiting to get underway here. Game number one of the 2024 ASICS Invitational. And Fizzler is going to be the main starting setter this year for NJIT. His fourth year at the school. Started as a setter back in 2021 as a freshman. Did great. That was during the COVID year. Things were all different for all athletics. But here we are and underway in the first play of the 2024 season will go for the Gauchos. And that served just long, but you notice Fizzler, a left-handed player, and that's very beneficial in that setting role. When he is front row, look at him to attack on that second touch and put it over. Now here's Ben Court, redshirt sophomore from Hermosa Beach, the first serve for the Gauchos of this new season. And it's a good one. Here is Fizzler looking to his middle. It goes off the block and will be a point for NJIT. And an interesting switch up there. You notice the libero changes for NGIT. So number 15, Ronted, are coming in to play defense. And the other libero, number three, Trevino, will play the serve-receive position. There are the Gauchos. That one goes off the blocks and falls on the Gaucho side of the floor. It'll be a point for NGIT. It's a nice hands up front. It's like Andrew Fedmasu with the block. And that was Sam Meister out of the middle position. He changed to that position last year. He's a native out of Santa Barbara. Another tough serve. NJIT on top early, but this will be a point for the Highlanders on a bad set, double contact. And up rep, Rick Olmstead calling that double on Jack Walmer. And that was a very tough serve from Greg. Let's see if he can do it again. It's another tough one, but it misses wide, and there's a point for the Gauchos to get the side out. And Josh Arulia will come onto the floor. And we talked about this great class coming in for UC Santa Barbara, but here's Sam Meister, and you talked about it, Katie. He played as middle blocker last year. The Gauchos in the last season filled with numerous injuries, especially in that middle blocker position. Here's an overpass and the kill for the Gauchos. And George Bruning picking up that one. So we're tied up early here. The season opener for the Gauchos at three. Here's Fizzler for Alessandro Negri. We'll likely see a lot more of that from 16 and white. Led the team last year in kills. And it's you, a big swing. You notice the Gaucho block a little late on that play and Negri taking advantage of the seam. Here's Andrew Fedmasu. Back to serve for NJIT. Another good serve. The Highlanders serving tough early. Here's George Bruning and Bruning again. Another great swing. And a smart set there for, by Walmer Aruya in the middle, really selling that he was attacking that play. Instead, Walmer shoots it to the outside. And great to see George Bruning again, one of the best recruits in the country coming in out of high school. Again, some early kills. Gaucho was able to tie it up at four. Tough serve by Walmer. Handled well in the good. Hands in the front row. And that'll be a point for the Gauchos. Weren't able to clear the net for NJIT. Four contacts. And the Gauchos benefiting from the height in the front row in this rotation. Jess Bianchi, Bruning, and Aruya all soaring over the net, getting a three-person block up. For Jack Walmer. Still continuing his work behind the service line. Second year at UCSB, Katie, you alluded to it, transferring in from Hawaii last year. Here's a back set. And there's a kill for Will Migdahl, his first. And Migdahl also attacking with that left hand. You'll see left-handed players usually playing the opposite position, and that was a great swing for Migdahl. He'll serve it up tied at five to start this first set. 
Migdal, hailing from Carlsbad, California, North San Diego. So a few players on this NJIT team from California. And this is a great block in the front row for the Highlanders as they take the lead again. And for Migdal, second year as a junior at NJIT. Last year playing 10 matches by right, coach Danny Goncalves. Here's Bruning, can't put it down. And for Negri, and that goes off the block and be a kill for Alessandro Negri. And Negri able to take advantage of high hands on that swing. He tools the three-person block. And NGIT with a lot of momentum. They are the underdog in this situation, and they're playing with a lot of aggression and confidence out there. For NJIT, their head coach, Danny Goncalves, talked about trying to push themselves in this tournament. There's Josh Arulia with a good swing. And that was an impressive swing from off the net. You look at Arulia in that repeat clip, and he is near the 10-foot line, but able to find the floor. And now the freshman's first time behind the service line. It will sail long for George Bruning, but a very promising career ahead of him along with Josh Arulia. The score now 8-6 in favor of the visitors. Here's the Italian, Negri. Led the team last year with 263 kills. Uh, we'll go into the netting and will be a point for the Gauchos. Libero comes off the floor. And Sam Meister will go into the front row for Jaden Glenn. Now for Josh Ruya, again standing at six foot nine. Point for the Gauchos. Early whistle on the illegal back row attack from NJIT. So setter for NGIT Griffin Fizzler is front row here. It was not a back row attack on him, but rather the back row was attacking that third set over, across the 10-foot line. That set, that serve will sail long. And the Highlanders back on top, 9-8. Here's Carson Williams, the longtime veteran for the Highlanders. The key middle for Danny Goncalves. Now the Gaucho is looking to set Jess Bianchi and he will get the kill. And a tight set to Bianchi, but he's so quick, able to snatch it out of the air before the blockers on NGIT could get their hands up. Here's Bianchi to serve, tied up at nine here, opening set, season opener for the Gauchos and the Highlanders. Bianchi, another one of those veteran players. Both teams looking to serve strong. It goes long. It'll be a point for NJIT. And in this A6 Invitational, game one of three here this afternoon. Is there back to serve? Highlanders on top by one. Here's Walmer looking for Ben Court, and Court able to feather it over, missing the block point. Gauchos. Court with the hang time there. The set a little wide, but he was able to push a tip down to the floor. And Court came up big last season. He had a late start to the starting lineup, but made a big impression, and he earned that starting role. Yeah, for Court, his third year as a Gaucho. Here's a whistle. It'll be a point for UCSB. And Rick Olmsted having to dodge that play, but still able to keep his eyes on and call that double violation. And now the Gauchos leading by one. And for Ben Corp, along with a lot of the Gauchos last year, taking a look at the season last year for the Gauchos, eight wins compared to 17 losses, but again, it was just one of those seasons for head coach Rick McLaughlin where everything kind of went wrong in terms of injuries. You got outside pin hitters playing his middles. We talked about that with Sam Meister. It was just a tough situation. Now, a great back set, Jess Bianchi, a good swing. It'll be a point for the Gauchos. 
And a tight pass. Walmer able to send it back to Bianchi. A really nice play gave him an open net. And as you mentioned, one of the silver linings of a lot of injuries last year was Meister finding his role in the middle. He had previously played outside and opposite in high school. So his first time in that role, and he did great. An undersized middle, but is hard to read because of his different ways of attacking. It was great for Rick McLaughlin just to see his team still continuing to fight all last season with all of those injuries. It's another tough serve from NJIT. Walmer just tried to cheeky play over the net, read well by the Highlanders. And Negri off the block, still kept alive. Negri again, this time he gets smothered. Aurelia and Walmer. Walmer able to close that block, swing blocking all the way to the pin. Pushing that right hand back into the court. Look at that seal. Very technically sound block there. But big props to Ben Court on his dime serve receive and all out defense. He's a steady presence right now in leading this team. Good serve by Walmer. For Negri again. And that one got a touch at the net. It'll be a point for the Highlanders. Negri very smooth on his attack, finding ways to tool a big block. Well, Migdal back to serve. Tied up at 13, opening frame. Walmer looking for Jess Bianchi. Here's Migdal who had the serve and finds it down the line. Point for the Highlanders. And an interesting play there. No one up on the block for the Gauchos. And New Jersey leading by one now, 14-13. It's been back and forth this entire first set. Yeah, no team getting an advantage here in this first frame. Looking for Josh Aruya cracking the whip. Impressive timing there from Aruya. Great set by Walmer. He was a little out of system, but Aruya sticking with it and providing that window. Such a lethal attack from that freshman. And here's the other freshman, Bruni, and it will sail long. Again, for Rick McLaughlin, you said it, Katie, one of the best groups in terms of recruiting classes that the Gauchos have maybe ever seen in program history, ranked number two in the nation by VolleyballMagazine.com. Just second to USC. You're already seeing the impact of these freshmen, Jess Bianchi on the inside of the block point, Gauchos. And that's a great pass from libero, Jaden Glenn. That was a switch up serve. Looked like they were gonna put some spin on it. Instead, went with the float. Now and here's Dominic Lang. And Lang was a crucial serving sub last season, and he'll play that role again in this first set, just coming in to serve. He's got some very good serves up his sleeves. Tied up at 15. There's Bianchi with the kill. And Bianchi coming in hot to start off this season. You can definitely tell the players on the Gaucho side who are comfortable in Rob Jim. They have that veteran experience and Bianchi really coming into that role this season. Dominic Lang as a redshirt junior. Last year, 50% of his serves when he came in led to this opposition being out of system. This one will miss the floor and another point for the Gauchos. Mix of veteran players with new young talent that's gonna spark the team. And as you mentioned, both teams with a similar chemistry, that balance between returners and new freshmen. Even the coaching staffs and players kind of characterize their teams as both scrappy teams. Play hard, here's Dominic Lang. Service ace and the run continues for number 11. And Lang really sparking the Gaucho squad. Before this run, it was back and forth. Another look at that serve landing right in front of the end line. And the largest lead we have seen here in the first at three. Gaucho is trying to make it four. They found the block it appeared and it will be a point for NJIT. And that was Josh Gregg out of Henrietta, New York. 
A good sharp angle swing, but what a run from Lang there. Fired off three tough serves. He comes off the floor. Jaden Glenn Libero back on for the Gauchos. Now we will see Antonio Feliciano for the first time making his debut in this very young season. Season opener for both squads here in Rob Jim. And Feliciano out of Puerto Rico, so one of the international players. Here's Walmer looking for Jess Bianchi, and Jess Bianchi looking very strong early in this one. And Bianchi is soaring. His vertical is almost out of this gym. Feliciano will go off the floor, and Bianchi will go back to serve. For last year, for Jess, averaging three kills a set. And he's looking very strong here in this one. Gauchos lead 19-16, first set. Tough serve, and to serve his ace, Jess Bianchi. And Fizzler able to keep that on his own side, but not able to connect with his hitter. So the strong serving for the Gauchos, really a separator late in this first set. The lead now to four, thanks to Dominic Lang, that 3-0 run. And the first bid from Bianchi from behind the line. That one will miss the floor. It'll be a point for NJIT. And again, we've seen this already, Katie, the libero situation for NJIT. We've seen Christian Trevino and both Ron Tidar on the floor as the liberos. Tidar back on. And Tidar late add for the lineup. He's out of Israel. Walmer with a Ben Corp. And it looks like it got a touch. It'll be a point for the Gauchos. And Ben Court remains airless with that touch call. A good eye by up ref Rick Olmstead. And it looks like that's going to be a challenge. Yeah, the first challenge in this contest. Seeing if there was a touch. Looks like possibly up at the net. They were going to be challenging that. Last play. And there needs to be substantial evidence to overturn the call. So they're going to need to find a clear view of the ball passing the front line with no touch in order to overturn and rule that challenge successful. As it stands, it was a Gaucho point. It would be 21-17. But for this Gaucho squad, again, after last season, after all the injuries, bringing in all the new faces, new freshmen, they're going to have their hands full here in Rob Jim. They're playing an extensive schedule to start this season for the Gauchos. Seven straight matches here at home for the Gauchos. It looks like our verdict, our crew has come to a conclusion, and it will stay with the Gauchos, so an unsuccessful challenge for NJIT. And that's a big point, 21-17 compared to 18-20 at the end of a set. And here's Ben Court, one of the veteran returner players. Gaucho's leading by four. Trying to take the first set here in Rob Jin. It's another great serve just over the tape. It's feathered over and a nice up. Gaucho's play on. Set right to the middle, coming in nearly vertical from Fed Masu. And an epic play for New Jersey. Love that set from Fizzler. He really held the block, and it opened up a free net for that middle attack. Now for the Gauchos trying to respond with the middle of their own, and there's Sam Meister. Sam Meister finding a way. 22-18. The Gauchos have a sub coming in, it'll be Owen Berg. And Berg will come in to add a little height to that front row attack. There is no true setter on the floor here. Yeah, Sir from Meister into the netting. 22-19 here in the first, when Walmer will come back on and Berg will go off just for that single rotation. Andrew Fed Masu back to serve.
Gauchos leading by three. And that one finds just the back edge of the floor from Fed Masu, service ace. And a lack of communication there between Court and Bruning, and that's what you'll see with some new chemistry on the floor. That one will sail long for Fed Masu, 23-20. Gaucho's inching in towards set point. And that time you hear the loud verbal communication, making sure everyone was on the same page. So now for Jack Walmer. Behind the service line, average 10 assists per set last year. Be an error on Walmer, and it'll be a two point game here in the first. Trevino, the libero, will come off for Ron Tidar, the other libero for NJIT. Will Migdal to serve. And that one finds a back corner. It'll be a one-point game here in the first set. Service ace again from NJIT. So NJIT finding those aces. Score 23-22. Will Migdal will serve. Gaucho's looking for the side out. Tough serve handled by Glenn. Here's Jess Bianchi. Southpaw can't put it away. Here's Alessandro Negri kept alive. Bianchi again finds the back half of the court. Bianchi with such a smart swing all the way on the left side of the court and just looking at the stats here, the Gauchos hitting almost 600 versus New Jersey hitting just above zero. They're at .059. So the Gauchos way more efficient on their attack. Now Sam Collins, the red shirt junior on the floor for the first time to serve. Set point for the Gauchos. That one finds the floor. Good swing and Carson Williams. And Williams, the grad player out of Texas, finding the floor in a big swing to keep them alive. It'll be the junior, Alessandro Negri, to serve. Still a set point for the Gauchos here in the first. Season opener in Rob Jim. Walmer, Jess Bianchi kept alive. That one pushed off the block and a point for NJIT tied up at 24. And a smart tool on that play, just swiping hands at the net. The Gauchos at one point in this first set had a four point lead. And NJIT here late in the first, closing it, tying up at 24. Tough serve. Here's Ben Court off the net. And that will be a kill for Ben Court. And that's a huge point for the Gauchos. Jaden Glenn, the libero, will come off. Sam Meister back in, in the front row. And it'll be the freshman, Josh Arruya. First collegiate match here in Rob Jim in the season opener. And Arruya with one service ace and one service error this set. Danny Goncalvez just having a word with her down referee outside of your picture. Now a little more discourse here on the floor. Griffin Fizzler having a word with Rick Olmstead, the up referee. But still 25-24 Santa Barbara. It looks like Olmstead was coming down. And it looks like they're talking about that play when the pass goes over the net outside the antenna. I believe you're allowed to run under the net, but you have to get the ball back to your side outside of the antenna. So Prisler having a talk with Olmstead about that, determining maybe if there was a redo opportunity, but it's going to stay with set point for the Gauchos. 
25-24 here in the first. The float in the back corner, but just misses long from Josh Arruya. And Arruya going to the jump float. Previously, he was on a jump top spin. So in this first set, going extra, tied up at 25. Be the veteran Carson Williams to serve. And it'll be a point for the Gauchos. Advantage back to UC Santa Barbara. And Bianchi will serve here. The Gauchos looking to get that serve in the court, give themselves an opportunity to earn match point. Twenty-six, twenty-five set point for the Gauchos. And an overpass put down by Ben Court. And that's the combo, Bianchi to Court to close out set one, 27-25. It'll be Court to lead things off here in the second. Gaucho's leading one set to none. It's a good serve off the tape. Well off the net for NJI2 is Josh Gregg. And again, Gregg looks like he found a fingertip in the front row and it did. So the first rally going for NJIT. And Fizzler, the setter running the table for NJIT. He's a senior out of Boundbrook, New Jersey. Here's Walmer in the back row attack from Ben Court. Court looking so strong early. He had four in the first, now picks up his fifth kill of the afternoon. And Court has such a steady confidence on the court, and that's going to be a huge role for this squad as they lost some huge leaders last year. Meister, in terms of stepping into that middle block position, did so well and really led the team in that department. There's George Bruning and the freshman Aruya as well, part of that block. And Bruning and Court finding some voice out there celebrating that play. Gaucho leading now two to one here in the second after taking the first set 27-25. And a good serve. And for Will Migdahl, the lefty finds it back corner. And a smart swing there from Migdahl. Usually plays the right side of the net. That time attacking on the left and he goes deep into the corner from an offset. Very smart out of system attack. Now Josh Gregg, we saw him a couple swings in the front row, now serving Josh Arulia using that six foot nine frame to his advantage. And not only that, but his hang time, he was able to delay in the air, wait for the set to come down and then push it to the floor. And that's a big part of that freshman class that head coach Rick McLaughlin has talked about, one of the best maybe ever in program history for the Gauchos, bringing in some size it's headlight, headlighted by Bruning and Aruya. Of course, some other freshmen, new faces coming in. Alex Smith, Van Oyen, a setter we have not seen here today. And Joe Walsh is also a libero for the Gauchos. And Fizzler having another talk with Rick Olmstead. The Gauchos leading in three to two here in the second. Here's Jack Walmer. Good serve. Here's Fizzler now. Migdahl trying to push it down. Kept alive by the Gauchos. Fizzler to the far pin. It was Migri. Got rejected by the Gauchos. And a solid block at the net, but huge credit to libero Jaden Glenn for the Gauchos keeping that play alive. He has been phenomenal on defense in this first match of the year. For Jaden Glenn was the team's really number two libero last year. Stepping into a big role for Rick McLaughlin this season. Now we'll sail along from Walmer Point NJIT. And that was a good eye from Christian Trevino to let that ball go. Here's Carson Williams. Great pass from Court and Bruning able to find that space between the block and the net. 
a tool point for Bruning. And here he is at the service line. He struggled early on in the first set, missing long. Missed twice in that first frame. This one finds the other side of the court. And there's a big kill in the middle. Andrew fed Masu. And a good decision to go to the middle. New Jersey has been efficient today from that middle blocking position. Now the pin hitter, Will Migdal, that one serves very long from number seven. Sam Meister will come onto the floor. Josh Arruya to serve. Christian Trevino back in as a libero for NJIT. And Arruya goes for the float, misses long again. That ball looks like it's rising at the end of its trajectory. We saw Arruya go with that serve when it was set point in the first. It just missed in that first set. That one missed a little bit longer from Arruya. The Gaucho lead still holding at one. Walmer looking for Jess Bianchi and he gets rejected. And a good seal there on Bianchi. He has been one of the go-to hitters for the Gauchos. So New Jersey doing a good job at identifying those core hitters and making sure they're stacked up on them for the block. Alessandro Nigri had three kills in the first. There's a service error from Nigri sailing long. But the Gauchos coming into the match knowing that they need to limit 16 in white this afternoon. Such a great threat offensively for NJIT. But similar to the first set, early here in the second, back and forth, no team establishing any presence or any room or an advantage. And that's a point for NJIT again, Fed Masu out of the middle. And again, on an easy serve or a dime pass, New Jersey doing a good job at running that middle block position and Fed Masu really coming alive. And a wicked serve from Fed Masu. Court trying to respond, and there's a block right in the middle. Williams with Fizzler as well. And a lot of height on that block. Fizzler, one of the taller setters, you'll see. A good seal there. Andrew Fed Masu here in the second, having a great second set. Court well off the net. Looks like he found a hand, and he did. So smart from Court. He's able to delay that approach takeoff and just go with the smart shot off hands. It's a veteran swing. Tied up at eight. For this UC Santa Barbara team, a bit of a mix between some veteran, key veteran players and some new blood. That great freshman class being brought in by Rick McLaughlin. This will be a point for the Gauchos. 9-8 now the score here in the second. And a good follow from Libero Jaden Glenn to ensure that ball was out. The Gauchos took the first set 27-25. After a late push from NJIT in that first frame. Good serve by Court. Fizzler looking to spawn with Greg and Greg will pick up the kill. And Greg was only up with one blocker, Jack Walmer, unable to seal that swing. Rod Tidar back in as the libero, cycling between two this afternoon for NJIT. Tough hand won't be a service ace from the setter, Griffin Fizzler. And that ball with almost no topspin on it, probably going out but Ben Court unable to move out of the way. So the Gauchos now trailing by one. That one going to the net, tied up at 10. And that's a break for the Gauchos, looking to gain some momentum. Sam Meister will be back to serve. The native kid from Santa Barbara. Trying to put a little rally together, but the Gauchos will have to wait. Meister will miss. Point for NJIT. Josh Briggs, 
Josh Gregg now to serve. 17 matches for number four last year. Have picked up 67 kills in the last season for NJIT. As Jess Bianchi off the net, and he is stuffed by the front row. And that set looked a little high for Bianchi. He wants the ball low and tight. He's so fast on his approach. So even when he's in the back row, he likes to be led close to the net. And the lead now to two for the visitors, NJIT. Another good serve from the setter. Here's Jess Bianchi down the line, rips it, still kept alive. And that was the tempo that Bianchi was looking for. So Jack Wammer with a really smart change there. I like that he went right back to Bianchi. I see Danny Goncalves. And they're discussing that when you travel past those signs, it's out of bounds. You're unable to pursue a ball in between the signs and the stadium. So it will be the point for the Gauchos. 12-11 now here in the second. Gauchos took the first. See some teams filling in in the stands on the far side of the floor. CSUN and Grand Canyon to play next. CSUN, another team in the Big West, and GCU will be the opposition for the Gauchos in a few days' time. Will Middar. What a dig from Walmer. That's a great out of system set, but a bump over the net. Migdahl again, this time finds the back corner. Well done by Will Migdahl. And New Jersey doing a good job at sticking with that play, taking advantage of a free ball opportunity, but great hustle and defense from the Gauchos. UC Santa Barbara now trailing by two. And the veteran Williams continuing to serve. Going back to Bruning again. Bruning just over the net. And Bruning off the net there, but able to sneak it on the trickle over. It's well done by George Bruning. One of the top recruits in the nation coming in out of high school, standing at six foot ten, bringing some great size to the front row for head coach Rick McLaughlin. Gauchos trail by one. And they tie it up, Josh Arulia. And the combination of Arulia and Bianchi has been phenomenal on the blocking side. Look at how Arulia gets all the way over. There is no seam in that block. Gaucho's now tying it up. Took the first set 27-25. Tough surf by Bruning. And there's another kill by Will Migdahl. And Ben Court, the only blocker up. Migdahl taking advantage of that and hammering into the deep cross court. And Migdahl, second year with the school, now serving. Played 10 matches last year and has done really well as a transfer last year. And there's a service ace for him as well. He has done well coming in as a transfer last season, now looking very strong in the early goings of this 2024 campaign. And a big ace there, NJIT leading by two in the middle of the second set. Will Migdahl again, he's got some family in attendance from Carlsbad, California, near San Diego. You hear them cheering them on here and Rob Jim. Bruning from the back row floats it over. Walmer looking for Court, but Court is turned away. That was a great dig from Libero Tidar. That ball looking like it was hitting the ground and he snuck a hand in, kept it alive, and his whole team rallied behind him to seal off that point. And the lead now three for NJIT. At the EVIA conference on the East Coast, Gauchos need a side out. And for Ben Court well off the net and Ben Court finds the back half of the floor for the kill. And Court has done a great job at that all match, taking a swing even on the most out of system of sets, and it pays off right there, finding a much needed kill for the Gauchos. Rhea again going with that float serve. 
Swammer there scissor. for the dump, but that set going outside the antenna and over the net. So NJIT pick up that point, 17-14 now. It's Alessandro Nigri to serve. And we'll go into the netting. Point for the Gauchos. And that's a much needed break for the Gauchos who have been trailing by three later in the second set. They took the first set, but it was a nail biter, 27-25. And they had the lead in that first set for UC Santa Barbara, NJIT had a late push. And a wicked serve from Jess Bianchi. Negri was looking to float it. And the Gauchos capitalize here, needing the point, trailing by two, Court. And Court finds the antenna, looking to sneak that swing down the line. But he was a little too sharp with his decision. Christian Trevino comes off the floor. And Andrew Fedmasu has had a great second set. Part of the reason why the Highlanders are up by three. Had some good kills and some serves as well. But that one will sail long from number 20. So back-to-back -back service errors for NJIT. And the Gauchos need to put some points together here. After being handed two gifts in terms of service errors from NJIT. See what Court can do. The Gauchos trailing by two, leading the match one set to none off the tape. For Josh Gregg, kept alive momentarily but it will be a kill for Josh Gregg, cross court. And Gregg doing a good job at going sharper than the defense. It'll be the senior Griffin Fizzler to serve. The NJIT leading by three here. Opening match of the 2024 A6 Invitational. Nine games will be played here in Rob Jim. The joust at the net and will be won by NJIT. The lead now to four. And it looks like Rick McLaughlin will call a timeout. And he will. But the Gaucho is now trailing by four. And NJIT has done a... In his fourth year with NJIT, he had a tough toss there when he was going for that serve into the court, going into the net. It'll be a gaucho point out of the timeout. So successful timeout for the gauchos. Here's Sam Meister, the only Santa Barbara native player on the team. Meister, a great serve and a service ace for Sam Meister. Just what the gauchos needed. Now only trailing by two coming in out of that timeout. For Meister, his first ace of the day. He's had a couple errors so far in this one. Goucher's now trailing by two. Back row attack, Negri kept up. Bianchi had the dig. Couldn't put it away. Composed from Walmer. And JIT out of system. Still play on, finally put away. The Carson Williams, the veteran. And a couple of great digs from Bianchi, but a good play from New Jersey to seal off that point. A lead back to three as the junior will go back to serve Josh Gregg. And with ease by Court. And there's Josh Arulia. No. And it looked like a touch on that swing, but they're going to stick with the out call, and it doesn't look like a challenge from the Gauchos. So Rui had just missing the floor on that last swing, and the lead back to four for NJIT. Looking like they're closing in on a second set victory after dropping the first. There's a Rui off the block. And a great decision from Walmer off a perfect pass, getting Aruya up and going. And he has been efficient when that connection is there. 
It's only Carson Williams up with the block as the veteran Walmer goes back to serve. 22-19, Gauchos trailing. Busy day of volleyball here in Rob Jim. As NJIT inch closer to set point here in the second. And Williams, we've seen him up front making some great plays late here in the second. Very athletic and a very good player. A longtime player as well for Danny Goncalves. And Williams goes with a late jump float serve, misses into the net. And Bruning will have a serving substitution. Sam Collins coming in. Did see Sam Collins in the first set. He's back in. In his fourth year with the Gauchos. It's mainly a serving sub last year. Gauchos needing a point. And they get it. And that swing goes long. And New Jersey talking about a challenge, but the players saying there was no touch on that play. So instead they'll go with a timeout, give Sam Collins a little time to think about. Looking for a late set push. Here's tight pass. That one's dumped over the net by Alessandro Negri. And I'll be set point for NJIT, 24-21. Gauchos took the first 27-25. And three set points here for New Jersey. You will Migdal. He's currently got four kills today along with two aces, and he's a big part of why NJIT have the lead here in the second set. That goes off the block, and Gaucho will stay alive here in the second. And good decision from Walmer to find Bianchi. He has been so consistent. Sam Collins stays on the floor, but Dominic Lang, who we saw in the first, put together a very nice run to put the Gauchos on top. By four points, comes in for head coach Rick McLaughlin. Trailing by two, but still set point for the visitors. Gaucho's looking to set it up. Court, try to feather it. Looking for Jess Bianchi. Goes off the block, and the Gauchos pull within one. And Lang with a great serve. Final champions with the Gauchos will play later this month, but here in this one, leading the match by a set. And there's a second set victory for NJIT. The set will go to the visitors and we are tied up one set apiece. Set two goes to NJIT 25-23 and we will head to the third. Tied up in this match between the Gauchos and the New Jersey Institute up to in the third for NJIT. Seen a lot of good serves from both squads. Here's Jess Bianchi, but that looked like it didn't clear the net and did not. For the first point here, the third goes to the visitors, NJIT. And Fizzler has done a good job at putting the pressure on the other side with his serve. He's a left-handed attacker. Another good serve from the setter. Gouch is looking for Ben Court, find some fingertips to tie it up. And Ben Court with another great kill with some hang time. He was expecting a faster set, but still able to find that kill. And he's trying to pump the Gauchos up. Ben Court now with eight kills on the afternoon. Now tied up with Jess Bianchi with eight. Good serve from Ben. Here's back row attack and a big one from Alessandro Negri. And that had a lot of heat. Let's look for New Jersey Institute of Technology to run Negri more out of the back. That was a great kill with a ton of pace. Handled well by Glenn. 
Gaucho's looking for the freshman. He's turned away. Looking for Negri again. Back-to-back -back kills for number 16. And the that's lead. the sixth kill for Negri in the last set. He hit zero. So he is coming in with a lot more heat, and the connection looks good between him and Fizzler. Gaucho is looking for swing in system, and there's Jess Bianchi off the block and out of play. A kill for number two in dark blue. And Bianchi leading the Gauchos with attempts, so Walmer getting the ball to Bianchi the most out of any other player on the floor. That'll be Sam Meister. Got a service days. A couple errors as well for Meister today's game. Well, the whistle looks like a net on the Gauchos. It looks like a net violation on Bruning. So the lead back to two here in Rob Jin for NJIT. Carson Williams, two question marks whether he would play here in this match this afternoon. Just dealing with some illness for the head coach, Danny Goncalves. But his service run will come to an end as the Gauchos pick up that point. And a tough float serve from Williams. Walmer way off the net, but able to find Bianchi for the kill. This match tied up one set apiece. Gauchos taking the first, and it looks like we'll have a challenge now. And it was, we will have a challenge from NJIT for that last play. And again, already an unsuccessful challenge today for NJIT, and this is their second. They lost their first after an unsuccessful challenge, so if they don't get this call to go their way, they'll be out of challenges until the fifth. And it looks like they're gonna challenge if Bianchi was in front of the 10-foot line when he took off on that attack. So we'll have our second challenge, and here we go for the Gauchos. See if he did clear the 10-foot line. Looks like he did. It's a close call. It's hard to tell if his foot is on the line or it's just clear of it. It's gonna be a tough call for down referee to make on this one. Again, if NJIT don't get this call, it looks like our verdict is in. Not too long on the video system replay. The point will go to the Gauchos and NJIT will be out of challenges until the fifth set, if we get to the fifth set. So that's the tough position for the visitors. Out of challenges now. And the Gauchos will have the serve trailing by one here in the third. So Bianchi is able to pick up that last kill and Walmer now for the Gauchos. Still just waiting to serve. For the Gauchos in the Big West pole, slated to finish fourth. A very tough conference in the Big West. Walmer's able to keep it up, but it'll be put away by NJIT. That was Andrew fed Masu out of the middle, and he finished the second set hitting 400, so an efficient attacker for NJIT. Now Will Migdahl had a very good second set, part of the reason why his squad and NJIT won that second frame. Some good serves and some good swings as well. But there's a massive rip, Maruya. And a great connection there. Big credit to Jaden Glenn for the perfect pass. Walmer with the connection here to Aruya, and he has been phenomenal when that connection is there. It's great to see those younger players, the freshmen playing the first collegiate match, especially Bruning and Aruya, getting early reps, early swings, finding their footing here at the collegiate level. And this man, the Italian, he's got some good swings here in the third set to kick off this frame. And Jack Walmer doing a great job at going up for that overpass. 
and having a presence so that the over call was made on NJIT. Lead still holding for NJIT at one. Five, six, Gauchos trailing. Match tied up one set apiece. There's Fizzler looking for Fed Masu, and Fed Masu has been looking really good. And a perfect pass, very in system there, and Fed Masu capitalizes on that. And in this team for NJIT, Fed Masu and Braden Goldberg, a little bit of competition to see who gets that start at the second middle blocker position. He's making his case very well here early in the season. And there's Ben Court, a good kill. And that's a great set out to Ben Court. He's able to elevate, find the seam in the block. Again, the lead for NJIT at one. All these sets, Katie, have started in a very similar fashion, back and forth early before one team just gets a slight edge and able to finish off the set. Now we will find the floor holder for the Gauchos to tie it up. And a big ace from Jess Bianchi. He's been serving aggressive all match. So now tied up here in the third. Game one of three that we'll see here in Rob Jim today. One of nine over the course of the weekend. High pass into the rafters, joust at the net. There's there to Greg. Here's Jess Bianchi, didn't clear the net. Point for NJIT. And good handle from Fizzler on those tight passes, using his height to save the ball, keep it in play. And Fizzler will go back to serve, the lead back to one for NJIT. And the key veteran players for NJIT. Bianchi again from the back row, this time puts it away. Well done by number two. And Walmer doing a really nice job at going back to Bianchi when he does make an error. That really instills confidence in your attackers. Let's see if Ben Court can do anything for the Gauchos. Put some momentum together here in the third set. It's been back and forth in this third frame. The Gauchos right there is Meister and Walmer. And Meister with a good read on the middle block. And again, Meister after last season, all those injuries to that middle blocker position came in and did such a great job for Rick McLaughlin in the middle. Not his typical position and still doing really well here in this brand new season. Walmer looking for Bianchi again in the back row. Bianchi again, great kill. And Bianchi going high hands on that play and it's a great decision to set a little higher than he'd like. And the lead now to two for UC Santa Barbara and Ben Court keeps the train moving from behind the service line. The biggest lead for the Gauchos here in the third and it will continue. Now up by three, service ace, Ben Court. And Ben Court so steady on the floor. That's a huge ace and that will cause a timeout to be called as the Gauchos now lead by three. Third. He's got nine kills on the day and a service ace. Fizzler looking for the back row. Some nice hands by the Gauchos, but great plays by NGIT to keep it up. Can the Gauchos capitalize here? They can. And Meister doing it all, vocalizing that he has that pass and then getting up quick in the middle. What a run here by Ben Court and the Gauchos. It was neck and neck here in the third as it's been really all match before a team can pull a lead together. Another tough serve by Ben. That will be a kill for Royal Migdal. He was well off the net, but made it work. And that's the sixth kill for Migdal, hitting around 300 on the match. 
Josh Oshkreg will go back to serve. Finally breaking that service run by Ben Court and the Gauchos. Will have the biggest lead now in this third set. In that last play, we did see Carson Williams. It looked like he slipped, trying to get in a position. A little extra wipe down the floor for NJIT. Make sure he got traction. But Ron Tidar in nice little libero. We've seen Tidar switch off with Trevino. As a libero for NJIT. Gaucho lead is at three. Make it four. Bruning with the kill. And a good connection there between Walmer and Bruning. And I think that's a connection that's going to continue to grow this season. For George Bruning. Now with five kills in his collegiate debut. Eister back to serve and it will sail long. The lead to three for the Gauchos. And the Gauchos still in the middle of this third set. Try to close this one out. Be in control heading to the fourth. Good pass there from Ben Court. And Aruya down with authority. And he has really come alive in this first match of his collegiate career. Another look at this connection. Look at the height off the ground. He's way above the block. Imagine that swing coming at you from Josh Aruya. Hello. And the sound it made here in Rob Jim, too. Second to none. Off the blocks from Migdal, still kept alive by the Gauchos. Here's Bruning, yes, cross court kill. Bruning with a good decision, a little off the net and he goes sharp angle in front of that off blocker defender. The lead to, for the Gauchos now at five. After Ben Court had a nice run to extend the lead for the Gauchos for the first time here in this third set. Now Jack Walmer has pushed his team's lead to five here in the third. It's a good serve by Jack. Set to the middle, but it will sail long. It'll be a point for the Gauchos. Walmer with a lot of heat on his serves. Negri handling that one, but an error on the attack. Yeah, that'll tell you all right there for Aruya. Not shying away in his first collegiate game as a Gaucho. And Aruya, we've talked about, but just one of the biggest recruits coming in out of high school for Josh Aruya. He was ranked number third best in the country. George Bruning was ranked number second. That's why this recruiting class for Rick McLaughlin has been such highly rated. And mainly those two players coming in to the program. And it was a good run for Jack Walmer, but a successful timeout for NJIT. Lead for the Gauchos at five here in the third. Match tied up a set apiece. And Aruya, the quick set from Walmer and great chemistry already between those two. What a play. Walmer from behind the 10 foot line able to connect with Aruya and look at him up big, able to find the floor. Such a great swing. Here's George Bruning. And a service ace for George. And that's his first ace of his college debut. Gaucho is now on top, 18-11, the biggest lead we've seen in this match. It's been a tightly contested match in the first and second sets. Now Fizzler, the far pin, Will Migdal. It'll be a point for the Gauchos. It looked like it hit the far pin. And Migdal pushed in front of that 10 foot line and he was unable to keep that swing inbounds. Well, it looks like there will be a substitution on the floor. Feliciano out of Puerto Rico subbing in for Alessandro Negri. It's a little bit of a change there for NJIT. The run will come to an end for the Gauchos. 19-12 the score here in the third. 
Couches won the first, lost the second. Now here's on Antonio Feliciano. Gauchos looking to close out this third set. A hearty lead here in the third from Rob Jim. Great pass from Jaden Glenn. And the back one set, unable to clear the net from Aruya. Walmer has been finding Aruya very early on in this match. And it's great to see the chemistry between those two. The lead now to six for the Gauchos. Another nice up from Jaden Glenn. This time looking for Ben Corp, floats it over the block. Jess Bianchi, and a great up by the libero. Here's Greg, turned away by the Gauchos. And a solid wall at the net on that three-person block. Dominic Lang will sub in for Ruya to serve. Dominic Lang had a great run for the Gauchos earlier in this match. I know it's a tightly con contested set. Lane came in and opened up a lead for the Gauchos. And the lead's now at seven, and make it eight. And that's such a hard role to fill, coming off the bench cold with your one role to put an aggressive serve in, and Lang does that so well. And that's such a great asset to have for any coaching staff, a player that can do that. As you said, Katie, not easy to do. You're cold all game, then you just come in to serve. But it makes it look easy. That will help the cause as well for the Gauchos. More great hands in the front row. And another great seal at the net. That one mostly from Bianchi. Look at his right hand turned into the court to ensure that ball lands in bounds. It's 22-13 here in the third. The run will come to an end for Lang. But you see the impact that he makes for the Gauchos. He will come off. Andrew Fedmasu. He's had a very good game as well as a middle for NJIT. Just jumped the gun there, just a fraction for Fedmasu. Okay, Olmstead didn't blow him in. And Fedmasu out of Illinois, the sophomore player. The lead for the Gauchos here in the third, 22-14. And the nasty serve from Fidmasu. And he comes right back at it with a ton of heat. Look at his wind up on this serve, a very high toss. Has a low load and then unleashes. For Fidmasu picking up his second ace of the day. Now here's Walmer to his middle, Sam Meister for the kill. And the perfect passing from Jaden Glenn is really opening up the middle blocker position for the Gauchos, and that has been a game changer in this third set. And here's Owen Berg subbing in for Walmer. He'll add some height to that front row, but there will not be a setter on the floor in this rotation. We did see this play from Rick McLaughlin earlier in this match. Owen Berg came in for one rotation. Berg will set here for Ben Court. Fizzler, the bump set. This one on the inside of the block will be a point for NJIT. Kill for Greg. So Owen Berg with an assist to his name. He'll check out and Jack Walmer back in. Here's Fizzler, the sole setter for NJIT. Gaucho is looking to go to set point here in the third. Nice bump set, Jess Bianchi, yes! And Bianchi court. elevating, he took off from behind the 10 foot line and had to stop himself from crossing under the net. What a vertical. Ben Court made that bump set look easy from well off the net and set point for the Gauchos here in the third, 24-16. Nasty serve again from Ben Court. There's the middle, Williams with the kill. 
And Williams with his third kill of the match, but he has been a steady presence. For Carson Williams, one of those veteran players for NJIT. It's still set point for the Gauchos, and it will be a third set victory for UC Santa Barbara. And the Gauchos finding a little. It was good to see the Gauchos after they got that lead, after it was neck and neck in the third, to open up a lead and close it out as well, and I'll let NJIT come back in that third set. Here's Josh Gregg missing. First point will go to the Gauchos here in the fourth. And Antonio Feliciano, number 10, in with that serve reception. You'll notice Negri is out, so a different lineup here to start the fourth. Ben Corp is responsible for opening up that advantage, along with Dominic Lang in that third set for the Gauchos. There's a block for the Gauchos. It goes off the block and out of play, and a point for the Highlanders. And Williams going high hands on that swing. Very smart when you have a three-person block in front of you. For Griffin Fizzler, man doing the setting here this afternoon. 23 assists so far today for the setter. Here's Bruning, finds the back corner. And Bruning finding his flow as this match goes on. Look at this deep corner swing from him. He has so many angles to work with. For George Bruning now seven kills on the afternoon. Sam Meister will serve now for the Gauchos. Fizzler looking for Migdahl who's had a great match and he gets that kill. And that's the seventh kill on the match for Migdal. For Josh Gregg, he's got six kills. Second behind Will Migdal. He's having a good match as well, and it's a tough serve handled by Bruning. Ball kept alive somehow by NJIT. Looking for Bianchi again, and Jess Bianchi now with 14. And Walmer with a great lead to Bianchi. He likes to attack that ball way in front of the 10-foot line, even though he is a back row player. Couch is leading the fourth, three to two. Season opener from Rob Jim. Always an exciting day for any program. Gauchos did play an exhibition two days ago, but the first countable game, this will sail Missed the floor from Jack Walmer and a point for NJIT. The veteran Williams tied up at three here in the fourth. Gauchos took the first and the third. Here's Aruya coming down nearly vertical again and Josh Aruya looking so solid in his first collegiate game. And Aruya is so much higher than the opposing block, and you don't need to find a seam when that happens. He's able to go right over the block and find the floor. Aruya now with eight kills on the day. We've talked about the importance of Josh Aruya and George Bruning coming in as freshmen, but also Alex Smith's Van Ooyen, freshman setter, ranked very high, coming in out of high school, and Joe Wallace as well. Freshman coming in for Rick McLaughlin. Wallace served as a libero in the exhibition a few days ago. Coming in, in and out of the game. There's a point for NJIT. And a fast set to the outside to Feliciano, and that's a good play to beat the big block of the Gauchos. Now Will Migdahl had some good serves throughout this match. Gauchos look for Ben Court. Now Feliciano, but it will stay a long point for the Gauchos. And Feliciano showing a different look, but it looks like the referees are calling no touch on that swing, so that will be a challenge. So NJIT with that play being reviewed, pick up that point now, five to four though, now leading. 
Short serve, but didn't clear the net by Migdal. And that's a break for the Gauchos. And the Gauchos, very diverse on their attack. They have five players hitting around 400 or 500, and that's a huge number. That means that they're keeping their offensive line open. And there's a big ace from Aruya who goes to that jump float serve and finds the trickle off the net. Aruya having a great game here in Rob Jim. He's looking so solid early in his career at this point. To go for the Gauchos. So seven to five now for UC Santa Barbara, their lead. And it looks like Aruya has settled into his serve. He's providing a steady float. See if the Gauchos can pick up this point. Here's Migdal from the back row, handled by Court. Walmer goes back to Ben. Court again tries to go towards the far corner. There's Feliciano, and he will get the kill. And Feliciano adding a different look for New Jersey. He's a smaller outside hitter, but he's getting a faster set, catching the Gauchos, Gauchos off guard a little. Trevino will come off as a libero, and Ron Tiddar will come on. Again, for Ron Tiddar, the freshman, just recently added to the roster for NJIT as a libero. She said a second libero, splitting it with Christian Trevino. That's pretty cool to see. Just recently added to the roster, didn't play during the fall, making an immediate impact. But we will have a netting called on the Gauchos and a point for NJIT. And a net violation called on Jack Walmer. He had a tight pass at the net. We are tied up at seven. Every set so far we've seen today in Rob Jim. They've all started very tight for a team just opens up a little bit of an advantage. The Gauchos opened up quite a big advantage in the third for another great serve. Here's Bruning, high flying from the back row. And a good look at Bruning out of that pipe position. Jack Walmer finding him after the nice serve receive pass. And Walmer with a lot of options. As I mentioned, five players on the floor right now hitting around 400 or 500. Even on that last play from Bruning showing the bigger size for the Gauchos, Aruya and Bruning, both nearly 6'10". This ball will be a service ace for Jess Bianchi. And the second ace of the match for Bianchi. Gaucho lead back to two here in the fourth. Gaucho's leading the match two sets to one, taking the first and the third. Tough serve again, handled by Feliciano. There's Josh Gregg with the kill, can't be dug up by Jaden Glenn. And it started with the perfect pass from Feliciano, so he's come into this starting role and added a lot of steadiness and heat for NJIT. Seen some good plays from Andrew Fedmasu in this game. Of course, the first three sets, good serves and some good swings. Here's Court, roll shot over the block. And Court with a beachy little roll shot to find the short opening. Another look here, an out of system set from libero Jaden Glenn, and just a really smart play from Ben Court. Ready for the Gauchos holding at two and bend to serve here in the fourth. Off the tape. Back row attack for Feliciano. And he will get the kill. And Katie, you said he's looking really good coming in into this fourth set. And the perfect pass there from Josh Gregg off a tough serve. So NJIT really benefiting from good serve reception. Gaucho lead's been hovering around two points. Out the serve for Griffin Fizzler. And the bike Glenn. Here's Bruning off the blocks. And Migdal will get the kill. And a net violation called on the Gauchos, but the kill will go to Migdal. So tied up at 10. 
Griffin Fizzler, the veteran, fourth year at NJIT. Going to lead his team to a fifth set, the fourth set victory. Gouchers will get this point sailing long from Fizzler. So Rubia will come on the floor for the libero Glenn. And here's Sam Meister, three kills on four attempts, hitting 500. Fizzler to his middle quickly, but kept alive by the Gauchos. The smart play and another great up. And finally put down and away by the Gauchos. And Walmer with the kill. Again, another smart beachy shot. The roll shot just over the block. NJIT with good effort on that pancake, but unable to get it over. And here's Sam Meister again. Lead for the Gauchos back to two. Can they make it three? Play it off the net. Feliciano sends it over. Walmer looking for Jess Bianchi. Bianchi into the backcourt with the kill. And Aruya really drawing the block on that play, leaving Bianchi with an open net. So a great decision from Walmer to find that open attacker. And in this fourth set, the Gauchos extended it to a two-point advantage. Hovered around there now to three points, the advantage for the Gauchos. Leading the match two sets to one. Tough serve again. And that one's put away. Carson Williams cranks wow. it. Wow, and a tight pass, but Fizzler doing such a good job at keeping it on his side. And what a put away that was. Williams doing a great job. Now for Josh Gregg. Very athletic player, and he gets a kill. Pardon me, an ace to pull within one here in the fourth. And a miscue between the two freshmen on that serve. We'll see for the Gauchos in the coming days as well. And even in the month of January for head coach Rick McLaughlin, he said in an interview before the start of play just a few weeks ago, talking about likely see a lot of different players in the rotation early just to get a feel out for how his squad looks. Gaucho lead at one. Palmer looking for Jess Bianchi. Bianchi with another kill. Bianchi racking it up from the front row or the back row. He has been phenomenal in this first game of 2024. Now for Jack Walmer. Gaucho is looking for a victory here in Rob Jim in their first game of the season. And that will help their cause. Service ace for Jack Walmer. And Jack Walmer known for his tough serving. He was mostly a serving substitution for Hawaii, but that is his first ace of the match. He's been really steady putting in aggressive serves. Always good to, good to have steady presence in Jack Walmer, consecutive aces. In this fourth set, the Gauchos hitting 615 and NJIT also hitting efficiently at 500. So these are the two best hitting percentages we've seen all match. Walmers had two consecutive aces. Is that a third? It is. And the timeout does not work on Jack Walmer. He is so steady. And look at this line drive top spin serve. Impressive stuff from Jack Walmer here in the fourth. Serving tough and will finally come to a close after three consecutive aces from the setter. And NJIT looking to rack off a couple here. They're trailing by four. It's a must win set. The Gauchos up two to one. And Carson Williams, the veteran, has been looking very good today for NJIT. Here's Jess Bianchi off the net, had to contort himself, but finds the touch. Jess Bianchi with his 17th kill, 
and he is getting kills from the left side, the right side, and the back row. So very versatile on this first match of the year. In comes Sam Collins. Got three serves so far in this game. Right coach Rick McLaughlin. Gaucho's leading 18-13. Trying to close it out in four against NJIT. Feliciano having a good four set. Can't put it away for Bianchi, but it will miss the floor. And a tight set. That ball almost looked over the net, but Jess Bianchi able to find a way to tool hands, and he can do it all. Another look here. Watch how tight this ball is to the net, and he's able to push it into hands to give him his 18th kill. Lead now extended for the Gauchos, 19-13. It's good to see Collins getting some reps behind the line from McLaughlin. And there's a kill from Will Migdahl. And Migdahl with a deep corner drive. And if you look, Sam Collins with a nice read. He was there. But a miscommunication between the Gaucho defenders. Will Migdahl now with nine kills on the day. He will go back to serve. NJIT in need of some points. And who else other than Jess Bianchi here in this match? And Bianchi on his 19th kill. Here's Dominic Lang checking in for Aruya. Dominic Lang, big part of that first set for the Gauchos. It's neck and neck against NJIT before he came in for head coach Rick McLaughlin. Pulled out an advantage up to four points after some great serves. Gaucho's leading by six. Feliciano can't put it away. As ben Court winds one up for the kill. What a set from Dominic Lang. Ben Court looking very in system. There goes high off hands. And the Gauchos approaching match point in the fourth. First set and a third set victory for UC Santa Barbara. Game one of nine games played here in Rob Jim this weekend. Cleaning up the scrap, Sam Meister. Sam Meister so steady and versatile in that middle blocker position. It shows that he is hit from all the other positions on the court as well. Again, for Dominic Lang, what he does when he comes in as a serving sub, essentially an ace on the last play. No chance for the other team. But he's so good coming in as a serving sub. And there's a massive rip from Josh Gregg to end that run for the Gauchos. And that's what happens when Fizzler draws in the block on the dump. You see an open net there for his attacker. A really nice play from the senior setter for NJIT. 22-15 here in the fourth. It's a must win set for NJIT, but the Gauchos in command. Feliciano to serve, who's had a good fourth set. Didn't start the match. Right coach Danny Goncalves but made an impact. Feliciano hitting 800, four kills on five attempts. Here's Ben Corp, but doesn't clear the net. Be a point for NJIT. And Ben Court looking for a sharp cut on that play. An uncharacteristic error there. Did you see Santa Barbara play tomorrow and the next day? George Mason tomorrow in Grand Canyon on Saturday. Trying to close out this game here in the fourth. Here's Jess Bianchi. He finds a touch. And again, what a game for Jess Bianchi. And Bianchi is now at 20 kills. And Jaden Glenn with a lot of credit for his steady serve receive. Sam Collins in the back row with Glenn. And Bianchi will serve it up. The Gauchos nearing that 25 point mark. Well, going to the net and be a point for NJIT. Twenty-three seventeen score here in the fourth. Back to serve. Andrew Fedmasu. Had some great serves and some great swings. 
Here's Ben Court off the net, feathers it. For Greg on the far side. Gauchos capitalized here, Meister is rejected. And it looks like Walmer is down. Might be an ankle roll. Yeah, right underneath Greg, Rick Olmstead. It's good to see Walmer back on his feet. It looks like Walmer will stay on the floor. So nothing too serious. Good to see Walmer back on his feet. Gouch is looking for one more until match point, 23-18. Looking for their first victory of the 2024 season. Another nasty serve, handled well. Here's Court. Right there in the middle, Sam Meister to move the Gauchos into match point. And a great pass there from Sam Collins. And Owen Berg will come in for Jack Walmer. Add a little height to that front row. No setter on the floor for the Gauchos in this rotation. And it will be Ben Court with match point. Match point for UCSB. 24-18 here in the fourth. We'll get a point for NJIT. Fighting off. Be 24-15 now. As Walmer will come back onto the floor for Owen Berg. That play that we've seen a couple times today for Rick McLaughlin, but still match point for the Gauchos. Walmer, Jess Bianchi, fitting fashion for Jess Bianchi, 21 kills, and the Gauchos in their season opener take down NJIT. And Bianchi unloading all match, a great connection from Walmer with all of his hitters. He had five.